Ready? Hello. Right, so we're moving to Dubai. The last time I think we posted a video on YouTube, I think would have been From in Dubai. Dubai. And now we're moving. So I feel like we've just dropped a bomb over on socials that we're randomly moving to Dubai without any kind of explanation. And we just want to start by apologising for that. I don't think we preempted how many questions we were going to get and how much you guys were like invested in it and just the lovely well wishes and support has been incredible. So we have got a list of your questions. I'm going to go through them with you um, and tell you our thought process and everything that's been going on behind the scenes to make this move happen. The most common question that we had that you asked the most was why Dubai, why do you want to move there? And I guess you guys have probably guessed that when we were in Dubai in February, that really was the start of the idea, I suppose. But actually, it stems back to like uh, the start of our relationship, doesn't it? Yeah, so as you know, we always go on walks. Um, and nearly every walk we go on, we always, always get onto the subject of moving abroad or living somewhere in the sunshine. And over the years, we've we've popped up many countries, Australia, Europe, um, Spain, Portugal. Um, we've talked about all these different places, but they've always been a bit of a pipe dream. And we've been to all these places and for some reason we just felt like it wasn't really realistic. Mm. But when we went to Dubai and we met people out there who have moved there, we were like, okay, this is realistic, it is doable, and it ticks all of our boxes. So we just said, do you know what? If we're ever gonna move anywhere in the sunshine, we have to do it now. Yeah. And Dubai is a good fit for us. Now, the reason why now is a good time is because Oakley is two years old. She will be going to school when she's four. So we have this two year window of opportunity before she gets locked into the school system in either England or Dubai, or might be somewhere else, we don't know yet. Um, when she's in the system, we don't want to ch change her, move her around country to country from then on. So we've got this two year window to go and basically try living somewhere else. And um, Dubai ticks all the boxes. We can go there. It has benefits. We can take our business there. We're going there because we can. That is simply mm. it. Like there's so many people that want to move, but they've got jobs that they're, you know, that requires location being based somewhere or their kids are at school. Or we have no fixed ties here yet. So we are, we're going for it. I'm going to insert a clip here because I think this is quite pivotal to the story. When we were planning our wedding pre COVID and we talked about honeymoons, which we technically never had. Um, we, I wanted to go to Dubai and Maldives and you were very anti going to Dubai because you had a kind of perspective that it was this I don't concrete, know, jungle. concrete jungle. Yeah. And yeah, you, you thought that it was all kind of the Instagrammy side that people see and you thought it wasn't really a bit it of was, you. And everything was like, wow, oh wow, that's amazing. Wow, that's amazing. And everything blew my mind because my expectations of Dubai were good, but I wasn't that excited about it. Mm. And when I got there, I was just like, this place has got it right. This place has absolutely just hit the nail on the head in terms of the way it runs. It's, it's almost like I've been to nearly every major city. Dubai is, they're all like here. Dubai is just here. In terms of, it feels like it's a city from the future. It yeah. feels like they've got the facilities, the systems, um, all the, the schooling, like the, the safety, the laws. Um, don't get me wrong, it will have its flaws. Dubai isn't perfect, but it just feels like a cut above the rest, in my opinion, so, so far. Let's, so let's backtrack, because you didn't want to go there for our honeymoon, and then I managed to convince you that we should incorporate it into our trip that we did back in February. And within, I think, the second day, we both were like, I want to live here. Yeah. And I've got a video, which I'll insert, of Dan basically saying, I want to live here, and I said... What are you going to say to yourself when you get home and you forget this feeling? Because we did sort of think it might just be like that holiday blues, but it was a feeling that we couldn't shift. <laughs> what do you love about Dubai and why do you want to live there? Everything and I want to live here. Why? It's better than England. It's and happier. What, what do you say to your future self that's going to forget this feeling and get comfortable? Don't forget, England? Dan, and go back to Dubai.
Do you want to live there? Yeah, I'm going to live here. Oh. We got home and it's all we could think about. As just touched upon, there are lots of reasons, multiple reasons why we've chosen Dubai. As you said, like the safety, it's an incredibly safe place where people don't even lock their doors. You can literally leave your bag on a table and go onto the beach and no one would ever think of touching it. Um, you like like you said the facilities there are incredible the cleanliness um they've thought of everything you know you look at like dubai marina you've got a track for walking a track for like prams a track for scooters uh, like they've, they've literally thought of everything haven't and it's, they? and it's just hot all year round obviously it's very very hot when we're going as well but um yeah we're going for the sunshine just the opportunities there's a huge expat community there of like over a quarter of a million expats that live there so it's kind of a home from home in terms of like the people and the fact they speak English um and I would just say that like there's a lot of opportunity there and it's just a very exciting place that I think if you've been there you'll know you'll know what we mean by that so yeah we always described it as like being like the sims yeah didn't we? Like, like, in... like on the game where you can design your own city yeah it's just like that like yeah because i feel like if you were young and early 20s you could go there and you could do all the partying and like and do all the instagram stuff and then equally if you're a family there's so much to do if you wanted to go there and like do the business world you could like i feel like with dubai you can go there and design any version of your life that you want to have and yeah so many reasons that we just fell in love and i've never been to a place like dan said we'd considered lots of other countries before but this was the first place that we were like this feels like home this feels like we could live here the reason why i like it is because i love america and it's almost like a yeah it's almost like america in terms bit, of yeah. um, the cleanliness and the space and the way things are built and everything is just immaculate mm. um a bit like disney world like it is a bit. The pavements you and the streets. You do feel like you're in Disney World. That's Everything a really good way. Everything is just, way. like, beautiful and lovely. So that. I feel like we could talk about this topic for uh, forever because we are, we just love it, don't we? And we're so excited because we barely even scratched the surface with seeing it ourselves. But like we said, we just had that gut intuition. And as we're kind of explained through the other questions, the stars have sort of just aligned for us with this move. So it's all sort of just kind of happened. So we came back and we decided, yeah, we're going to do it. So we started to put things in place. Are you going permanently or how long are you going for? Yeah, so the answer to that question is, well, the answer in my head is we're going for one to two years. Um, and this is, we're laughing. <laughs> because, it's true. Yeah, but we just don't know. Like, Yeah, we, this is the answer in my head. Okay. We're going for one to two years to give it a try. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to see how we feel. We might get there. We might love it. We might say, right, sell the house. We're going. Mm. Is it permanent? The answer to that question is actually no. Like we're not selling everything and running. No. And we're keeping our options open here. Um, but we're going with the open mindedness of if we go there and we want to go all in on Dubai, we will sell this house and we will buy a house there. Yeah, I feel like nothing's permanent anyway. Um, what we do know is that it will be a minimum of 12 months. So yeah we're going for a year and like dan said we'll see if we like it we'll stay a bit longer we'll, we honestly don't know but i think that's kind of exciting i like the flexibility of not putting all your eggs in one basket yeah what will happen to the house in cats let's talk about the house first yeah so the house is being rented out yeah um to a cool family from london who uh, yeah. want a bit of a country life we're quite lucky in the sense that they actually, so what I meant by the stars aligning is we put our house up to rent and we actually put it on thinking that this was the biggest obstacle for us because if the house didn't rent out, that would delay us moving to Dubai. Um, and so we put it on quite early, I suppose, um, in hindsight, thinking that it could have taken two to three months to even find anyone. And we put it on. And within a week of it being um, advertised, someone wanted to rent it and they wanted it furnished, <laughs> which for us, we were open to a bit being unfurnished, but then we was we were going to have to store all of our um, belongings because obviously we're not shipping anything out to Dubai because we don't know if this is a permanent move. So it wouldn't make sense to pay thousands of pounds to send all our furniture out. And that really dictated the date. 
so we're going in August and that was purely based on the date that the people wanted to move in. So that's it, house is being rented out and then we will be renting over in Dubai. And the cat. Yeah, so the cat's probably one of the saddest things. Yeah. Um, we're giving the cat to a neighbour. Um, yeah, she's being rehomed. She's, you know, as much as we love Monty, and she's been like our family pet for the last, what? Nine years. Nine years. <clears throat> We have a dream to live in the sun and we cannot let our love of the cat um, stop us from doing that. So, mm. you know, as long as she's loved and fed, she'll be happy wherever she goes. And she's going to a great family up the road. So Monty yeah. is going to be rehomed. And we'll have updates for the first couple of months, won't we? Yeah. Just to hear how she's getting on. And um, yeah, she's going to a family that's going to really going to love so her. So one of the negatives. Yeah, we are. We are a bit upset about that. But. It's just part and parcel of what we're doing. Where in Dubai are you going to live? Are you buying? Are you renting? We have considered a number of different areas of where we want to live. Obviously, we've actually only been to Dubai once, as crazy as that sounds. So it's not like when we were there, we had chance to necessarily like drive around every community. However, having spoken to a lot of people that live there, having done lots of research, we have like narrowed it down to a couple of places that we like. One of them being a place called Town Square, which is a very family community kind of vibe a lot more suburban and residential maybe than some of the inner city places. It's probably like 25 minutes realistically from Town Square to Dubai Marina or JBR. Um, so kind of like where the attractions are. But as people who are living, going to be living there, I think that's just right. Like, I think that'd be perfect. Like that, from here us. to Bath, you yeah. know, when we go into Bath, it'd be like, we're going into the city. Yeah, exactly. So close enough to things that we can really like enjoy it all, but not too close that we're living right in the city because we actually stayed in an apartment on the marina and as amazing as that was every night i was woken by like car horns and traffic so if, yeah, we, were traffic the, was bad. if we were on the marina you can't go out in rush hour times because it's gridlock yeah, and like we said renting our house out here and then renting somewhere there again we'll rent somewhere furnished um well potentially unfurnished but i think ideally we're going to find somewhere furnished aren't we yeah <laughs> we need to add here the reason that we don't know yet, that probably sounds a bit crazy, is because due to the visas, you cannot do a long-term let without a bank account and you cannot get a bank account without a visa. So we're going to be airbnb for the first month when we land. And then we set up there. Get our visas sorted, get our bank account sorted, and then we'll be doing a let um, from there onwards. Yeah. So it's a, bit, it's a bit crazy, but that's how it goes in Dubai. M me especially, I love to be organised and I like to have things set in stone. Mm -hmm. But for this situation, we have to just go with it and yeah. go there and work it out and go from there. We spoke to quite a lot of people um, and we spoke to a few real estate agents and, and we, we tried to inquire, didn't we, like a month ago for apartments. And they were like, but this is available now. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, we, we're going to come in August. They're like, then speak to us in August. Yeah. Um, because it's the kind of place where you go and view an apartment on the Monday and you could be in by the Wednesday. Like, it's super quick there. Is Do you know anyone out there? Yes. So my good friend Lauren lives out there. She went there a couple of years ago. She's a teacher. Um, so we know her and her partner, Sam. And we actually know our old teacher. Yeah. Mr. Gale. Darren Gale. Shout out to Gale because he'll, he'll watch this. <laughs> and um, he's the principal there at a school in Dubai. Um, and actually, we know a couple of people. We know Fraser, don't we? And um, we, we know a lot of like, There's we've some... got a lot of associates, a lot of Juice Plus people we know out there. Yeah. Um, and since we have made this decision to move, we have started like networking with people and like already started chatting to a few people that have done the move themselves. and. It's weird because we're just going to, have to put ourselves out there and like make new friends, but it's kind of exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Because I feel like everyone that's moved there is probably like like-minded. If I meet like three or four good blokes, I will already have more friends in Dubai than I oh, do in England. Your friends will watch this and think. <laughs> I'm what about joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So we know like at least someone. It's not a completely um, like blank page for us. Like we do know a couple of people, but. Yeah, we are going to be starting from scratch. So if anyone lives in Dubai and wants to be our friend. <laughs> so what are the schools slash hospitals like? So everything is private out there. So all of the international schools are private, um, meaning you have to pay for them. And so is the healthcare. Um, so you can expect very good service, but you do have to pay for it. Um, we actually were lucky enough to go and see two schools. 
kind of not even intentionally we went to see our, my friend Lauren who is a teacher went and saw her school and um, we went and saw Darren Gale's school so we actually and all the schools over there it's like from age three to 18 so they're all in one building it's not like in England where you get junior school and secondary school it's, it's all in one from nursery up to um, sick form so uh, we have seen what the schools are like the facilities are obviously amazing being private so yeah we don't know if we'll need that we don't know if we'll still be there at that point but yes if we are still in Dubai by the time Oak goes to school then she'll obviously be going to an international school over there um, and yeah, hospitals would just be like any any private healthcare that you would get in England as well. Let's get interactive. I'd love for you to comment um, on this video. Do you think, do you predict we're going to come home or do you think we're going to stay? This is the this is the question we all don't know the answer to right now, but no. place your bets now and we'll see who's right in two years time. <laughs> what visas do you need? So, I mean, we're by no means experts, are we? But this is a big question. I'm definitely not an expert. You know more than me on this. Okay, so it really depends on what your situation is. If you were to get a job in Dubai, then you would, like by law, get a visa. And with that visa, if you are married, you can sponsor your spouse and children. If you're not married, you cannot. Um, so that's one way. That's probably the way that most people do it is they get a job. If you're self-employed like us, then there's a couple of different types of visas that you can get. Again, I'm not an expert, but you can get um, like a freelance visa or a free zone visa or a remote working visa. Um, it's best to probably YouTube videos on this. Um, but yeah, they, you obviously have to pay for those. They come with costs and they come with like different requirements. But yeah, you do need a visa to be able to be out there. When you land, you get 30 days and um we've been told that for our visa it's a, it's basically a 10-day visa process and you have to be in the country you cannot leave the country whilst you're waiting for your visa so right so what is it like for children out there well it's the disney world it is it's it is amazing beautiful uh, clean safe parks everywhere you look every single shop has a soft play of some kind the yeah. malls have huge soft plays like the king of dubai says children come first yeah it's that's it feels like that's the attitude they've really catered for you yeah. rather than seeing children as a hindrance yeah. and they love children over there don't they everywhere we went they were like um ah oh, michelle habibi like saying how beautiful oakley was and yeah she was so sweet everyone was so lovely it's really safe they have thought of everything and like we've got so much to explore. We, we, like I said, haven't even scratched the surface with the things that we can do with her. Like I'm so excited. You've got theme parks everywhere, beaches everywhere. Mm. When I envision what we're going for, I don't know about you, every night I like do visualization of um, us being like on the beach having a picnic like late at night. Yeah, like I also of... think about where we're gonna live has a pool. So oh, yeah. whenever we're in England and it's raining out and we're looking out the window thinking, what's there to do except watch Peppa Pig? <laughs> in Dubai, we're gonna be like, should we pop down to the pool? Yeah. And it's gonna be like, you know, I don't know how long that will be, a, you know, a novelty for, but I'm excited to have more options like that on our doorstep. Then yeah. when it's England in the winter, you can't do much except stay in. Um, so I'm excited for more of an outdoor lifestyle. Yes. Last question that we're gonna answer is, how do you feel? Are you scared? Are you excited? Percent both. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to miss our family, we're going to miss our friends so much. That's been such a big factor of the decision. But like we said, we're in a very rare position where we have the flexibility to live and work from anywhere. And with Oakley being at the age she is, this is like an itch that we need to scratch. And I'm just a firm believer that if you can like see yourself as an old lady and think that you might look back on your life with some kind of regret like you should probably just do it um and I saw this quote the other day that said the biggest mistake we make is thinking that we have time and so this is just something that we feel really passionate that we just need to do um and so yeah we are scared we are worried we are nervous excited like all of the above but worst case scenario is we come home and carry on 
Yes. Best case scenario is we create an amazing new life for ourselves. Most people that move to Dubai say they live a better lifestyle. Mm -hmm. They just have a better life in Dubai. So I think we could look back on this one day and say it's the, either the something that we tried or the best decision we ever made. Because for us, and this is what I do for every decision making thing, I say, what's the worst that could happen? What's the best that could happen? And what's the most realistic thing that could happen? So if for us, the worst case is that we don't like it and it's not for us, there's no shame in us saying like, we gave it a go and it just wasn't for us. Um, but like you said, best case, it could be one of the best decisions we ever made. Yeah, we're excited to take you on this journey. It, we would love to know like what you wanna see from the process. We will be spending the next couple of weeks majorly packing up our things and taking our life probably in just a handful of suitcases. Yeah, we wanna know what you guys want to see and we'll bring you along with us. Yeah, so I think we have to do like and subscribe. <laughs> oh yeah. You can like it if you want, um, but subscribe. <laughs> I'm not bothered like likes on YouTube. All right. If you wanna like it, you can, but subscribe because we wanna have subscribers. <laughs> we do. Isn't that the whole per point? If someone says you've got a YouTube channel, the next question is how many subscribers you got? Right. So you have to subscribe to make my numbers look good. Below with what you want us to share next. Thank you everyone for all your lovely messages of support and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.